Hi, it's me, Papa John the Tool Man. Today, we are going to show how to do terminate a CAT6A shielded cable. And we have here our 10 gig termination kit, which is very popular. Uh, 10 gig cable is really just more and more every month selling more terminations for that kind of cable. And inside it comes with uh, the basics that you need to, to do this uh, connector, CAT6A for shielded. It comes with the tool, which is designed for doing this type of connector. The external ground crimper and a cable jacket stripper are Cyclops. So let's go here and let's do some hands-on and see how it's done. Okay, so I've finished combing out my kinks, laying out my pairing. And let's see, this is orange, white, orange, so we'll start doing, I'm gonna do the B. So there's the two, one, two, there's three, blue is five, five, four. I wanna make sure this doesn't kink up at the back. I'm gonna bring this around, keeping the back clean. And then green and brown, white, brown. So now it's all clean, no kinks. Side by side, we're going to put the bar on. So before we do that, we need to do a nice clean cut in the front. And the bar can only go on one way. The open end goes on toward the conductors. Now as you put these on, or put the bar on, don't force it. Goes in easy in the back, but now it's going to do a stagger. So just sort of rock it and see how it slides on, and it's a stagger. Got four upper, four lower. And then we're gonna take it toward the back, at least a quarter inch, close to 3 sixteenths, toward the jacket. We'll stop right there. So at this point now, I'm going to do a flush cut. So we're going to take the cutters, put it right against the bar, and that is the prep that's gonna go into the connector. Okay, we're going time to put the connector on. So before I do, I'm going to take my cable here, which is basically concentric. And I'm going to reshape it a little bit to make it easier going into the connector. So I'm going to use my lineman pliers. I got some our uh, new model 12206. I really like these. I'm going to use the oval part, and the bar will help me determine how to shape it. That's where it's how it's going to go into the connector. And then we'll take the connector now, and we're going to put this on. So just carefully slide this in, and the cable goes in. Now once we're in there, the liner bar, the wire guide bar, it stops before it gets to the contacts. Now we want to keep pushing. It does not go under the contacts. The conductors do. So we want to keep pushing those conductors all the way forward. See how the cable is going in? And you can check the nose. And I have all copper in the front. So I'm ready to rock and roll here. So it's ready to be terminated. So since I'm up there, before I set my ground, I'm going to go ahead and crimp it with my Titan. Something to remember, there is no strain latch in this connector. Uh, and it's important that you remember that you cannot crimp it with a standard RJ45 uh, tool. So the Titan XG is designed to crimp this connector. You use a standard tool, it's gonna to crush that back end because the latch driver being in the die. So let's open up our tool. There we go. We'll put it in, hold it tight against the front, crimp it, we're ready to go. So now it's been terminated, looking good. Now we need to set the ground. So what I'm gonna do here before I put up my ground I want to roll my drain wire up, and I'm going to use my, there's several ways to do this, but I'm just going to use my little flush cutter here. You don't want to squeeze real tight because you'll cut the wire, so just sort of use it like, like a pincher. There we go. Now, I'm going to bring that ground up. So what I want to do is hold the connector with this one, or my thumb, I mean, I'm sorry, and let's squeeze that ground up. 
And then I'm going to take my, use my bit here, and roll over the, now it's ready to be crimped. And in the kit, you have your crimper, your CT360, and two cavity sizes. Start with the big one, and then use the small one. So lay it in there, and get her set. And we'll pass it to the smaller one. And that's a pretty good crimp. So we're ready to roll. And I should have put this on first, but I'm going to cheat here. We have a short cable. But we have oversized boots for different big cables. Makes a real nice finish. You slide it on. And you got a custom looking, ready to go, 10 gig, Cat 6A termination.